Hi guys, Kimpoy here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to mirror your Android screen with no lag and no capture card. So for some reason, you wanna record your gameplay or you wanna stream games like League of Legends, Mob uh, Wild Drift, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty Mobile, and you're in a tight budget, so you don't wanna buy a capture card like Elgato HD 60s and you have a computer, a phone, and a cord. So this video is for you. So to get started first the requirements. So first you want to have a computer or a Windows which is in 64 bit operating system. So to to check that, go to your my computer, right click and properties. Go here of system type 64 operating system. <clears throat> Next is the RAM. So recommended RAM for recording and streaming is 16, 16 for streaming and for recording 8 gig of RAM. So maybe if uh, you only stream or record your mobile through your mobile phone um, you want to have 8 gig of RAM at least so lastly you want to have this mirror uh, mirror uh, compress file or archive file so download download this uh, the download link is in the description below so to get started you wanna extract it after extract it um, we'll have these two files the mirror folder which contains a lot of file and the mirror batch file which is uh, you just leave it at the desktop because it will become your shortcut key in um, your screen uh, mirroring so this mirror for folder this copy it right click copy or cut and paste it to your c drive so it must be in c drive because the code or the coding here says that the, the folder must be in c drive paste it as you can see, I already pasted it here because I, I tried it. Here is the mirror folder. See, mirror folder. And you're good to go. So all you have to do is to open this mirror batch file. So my phone cord is connected to the back of my computer. So just open it or enter. And there it is. It's now logged. So for it to open, so for it to open like this, um, you want to enable the USB debugging of your phone. So now I'm going to show you how to enable your, your uh, USB debugging. So first select your settings go to your about phone and tap the version eight times i think or ten times and as you can see no need for me to um tap it because i'm already a developer so go to your developer options here at the and the developer option you want to enable your developer option and enable the tree the usb debugging so it will be a usb and usb debugging security settings so after that you're good to go so example i'm going to open it again and here it is so for you if you wanna so I'm going to open Mobile Legends 
So if you want to record or stream, you want to have OBS Studio, OBS Live uh, from Stream Elements or Streamlab OBS. So I'm using stream OBS Live from Stream Elements. <clears throat> So you want to uh, to add scene? No, I'm not going to add scene because I'm recording. So you want to add scene? Type whatever title, and after you add, there's no sources. So you want to uh, add game capture or window capture. So for game capture, usually. usually it doesn't um, appear the mo the game will not appear in game capture because your OBS is not running on as administrator so if you want to run as administrator you want to right click your OBS and run as administrator so if you run as administrator and that didn't work you want to add window capture then example window capture like that then window for window you want to select the model of your phone capture method for me it's automatic because as you can see it's already uh, showing mobile legend for if not you want to select either of the two seven for windows 7 and for windows 10 so i'm not going to add it So next is the audio. So for you to have audio, you want to buy uh, this one. E three point five to three point five millimeter jack, which is um, exactly the same at the. Uh, other end so you want to to put the other end here at your phone 3.5 millimeter jack and the other one to your to the back of your computer so so hmm <clears throat> So here there's three audio jack in your uh, computer so first the red the red is for the mic the center the green is for the headphone which is the output and the third one is the blue which is the auxiliary so you want to put the other end of the cord to the auxiliary to the blue one here like this so after you put it, go to your OBS, select settings, go to the audio, and if you have mic, the audio one, it's going to be your mic, select your mic. So for the audio two, select your, um, the auxiliary. So basically, um, if you put a uh, jack in the auxiliary, it will automatically label as line in. So here the audio two, um, find the line in. So for me, I don't have the jack. So so for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose this microphone of my um headset. So but I'm going to mute it. So here. Now, as you can see here, at the audio mixer, there are three, the um, desktop audio, the audio of your desktop, your my mic, and the uh, aux 2, which is the line-in. So, you don't have to unmute it because it the audio is from your phone. So, if you want to um, hear the audio of your phone to your headset 
click this uh, setting gear icon and advanced audio properties because at my mic aux 2 the default is um, monitor off so you want to change it to monitor only mute output so that the audio of your game on your phone uh, you can hear it in your headset so like that and close so so that's all guys so if you learn something or if this helps you please consider um, subscribing and like and you can also comment down if you do, if you have a uh, question so i i always read your comments so feel free to question ask question below thank you